I've, had, I've seen a few tits. I've seen, I don't know, 48 maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I've had my history in my life, you know? I've been divorced for five years, and uh, it's been the best part of my life, being divorced. Easily my favorite part of my life. I love being divorced. Every year has been better than the last. And it's the only time I can say that about. And by the way, I'm not saying don't get married. If you meet somebody, fall in love and get married, and then get divorced, because that's the best part. It's the best part. Marriage is just like a larva stage for true happiness, which is divorce, because you just let go and everything's fine now. Divorce is forever. <laughs> it really actually is. Marriage is for how long you can hack it. <laughs> but divorce just gets stronger like a piece of oak. <laughs> Nobody ever says, oh, my divorce is falling apart. It's over, I can't take it. And again, if you're in a good marriage, stay in it. If you're in the best marriage ever, stay in it. I'm just saying, if you got out, it would be better. That's just a fact. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's true. Everything's better. My ex-wife and I, this is the best part of our knowing each other. We're good co-parents because we live apart and we're friends. Our kids go to her half the week, they come to me half the week. And I'm a good father. I'm an attentive, focused, and responsible father. Do you know why? Because I get to say goodbye to these kids every week. <laughs> Are you shitting me? It's like every parent's fantasy. Who can't be a good father for half of every week? No matter how bad it gets, every Wednesday, I get to go, goodbye, girls. Daddy's gonna go upstairs and pour whiskey all over his naked body right now. I'm gonna lay in my own filth until two seconds before you come back here. That's why I'm such a good dad. My daughter was, uh was having a dance thing at our school. They had this big dance. Anyway, we all went, all the parents, and everybody's there, and everybody's got their phone. Every single parent. It was an amazing thing to watch, because kids are dancing, and every parent is standing there like this. Every single person was blocking their vision of their actual child <laughs> with their phone. And the kids, I went over by the stage, and the kids, there's people holding iPads in front of their faces. It looked like we're all in the witness protection program. Like, the kids can't see their parents. And everybody's watching a shitty movie of something that's happening 10 feet. Like, look at your fucking kid. The, the resolution on the kid is unbelievable. If you just look, it's totally HD. Why are you taping this? You're never gonna watch it. In a million years, you're not gonna watch videos of your kids doing shit you missed the first time it happened. You don't watch it, you just put it on Facebook. Here, you watch it. I wanna take a nap now. And then you get to read all the comments. Oh my God! It's so cute! And guess what? They're not watching it either. They're not watching the video. These kids are dancing for no one. <laughs> Nobody watches the videos on your Facebook. They see the first frame of a kid and they go, ah, that's very nice. Okay, back to this. <laughs> Nobody's watching your kids' videos on Facebook. I promise you. I'll prove it to you. Next time you take your kids' dance, Take one second of it, and then add 20 minutes of just your own asshole. Just go in the bathroom and just record your own anus opening and closing for 20 minutes. Tack it on to your kid dancing for a second, put that on Facebook. Everybody will write the same thing. That's adorable! I think I see a future star! 